So in figuring out how to make your CSS work in every browser, no matter whether or not that browser is new or old, you're going to consider what happens when the browser doesn't understand the CSS. You're going to consider the possibility of giving the browser some extra CSS and using overrides to give certain browsers certain parts of the CSS that you want. You're also going to consider using feature queries to explicitly define blocks of code that get run only under certain conditions. The other thing you want to think about and really ask yourself is how well does this particular feature fail? There may be some CSS that just doesn't fail very well, that it's not something like border radius that just turns into a square or something else that the fallback isn't that big of a deal or you're able to easily write fallbacks. There may be situations where really the failure of the CSS that's not understood just isn't going to work, in which case you probably can't use that property. You need to figure something else out. So let's look at an example that's a little bit about this of thinking about maybe we just don't want to use this property at all. Here I've got a simple example, a photo with a headline to the left and the headline has been rotated so that it's turned sideways and reads up the page. In order to accomplish this, all I need to do is put a writing mode of sideways LR on that H1 and we're done. This sideways LR writing mode is defined in the CSS writing modes level 4 specification. And so you think, okay, well how well is CSS writing modes supported? Let's look at can I use. It actually has pretty great support. You can look at it, it goes pretty far back. Uh, we'd need to dig into upper mobile and mini, look at IE, but otherwise it seems to be universally supported. But I happen to know that if I use writing mode sideways LR or sideways RL in some kind of code, it's not going to work in most browsers. In fact, the only browser it works in is Firefox. So what's going on? Why is Can I Use telling us that it's supported when it's actually not supported? Well, let's look at the MDM page for writing modes. And what we can see is that actually what Can I Use is representing is the level 3 specification of writing modes. Writing modes level 3 is very well supported in lots of browsers. We can use all of those parts of these, that tool set in all these browsers. Level 4 is an addition. It's like the next level of writing modes. And it simply adds sideways LR and sideways RL. And it's what's not supported. You can see here at the bottom of this page, we can see in that box which values are supported. Can I use this just telling us what feature itself is supported, what property, the writing mode's property is supported, but that doesn't mean that the sideways value is being supported. And we can see here that it's not supported in Chrome, Edge, Internet Explorer, Opera, Safari. It is supported in Firefox. So what are we going to do? We want to use the sideways LR value, but it's not supported. So one thing that we could do is just go ahead and use it, like we talked about before, and let it fail. The error mode is fine. You know, the error handling of CSS isn't going to crash anything. We can just pretend like it's not there. And uh, maybe it's just going to work out. Or maybe we want to have two different versions where we use vertical RL for the browsers that, that understand writing modes and we use sideways LR for the browsers that understand sideways and we get two different experiences. The headlines turned in one direction for some browsers and the other direction for the other browsers. But you know what else we could do? We could not use sideways and we could simply use vertical LR and then apply a transform rotate of 180 degrees, apply text align of right, and a text orientation of sideways. You can dig into this example on my website if you want to look at exactly what each parts of those the, that code does and how those several different properties interplay together. The result, however, is the same as if we use sideways-lr, but we can just avoid using it and use this other set, these four properties together in order to accomplish the same results. So this is an example of like, maybe the failure just isn't worth it. And we decide not to use it. We decide to do something else instead. Uh, thinking through all of these different possibilities, understanding what's possible, understanding what CSS, how it works, what it wants you to do, what your options are, thinking about your browser support, and thinking about 
all of your users, you, using even the oldest browsers, using browsers you haven't even heard of, using devices you haven't heard of, like a game console. If you think about your CSS for just a little bit and craft it carefully, you can make sure that all of your users are supported, even though you're using the brand new properties that only a very few set of browsers have.